Hello data lovers, so welcome back to the part 5 of SQL Interview Pro 2.0 series and again today we will be solving couple of new SQL questions and you will definitely learn few new things for sure. If you haven't checked out the previous videos of this series then do it right now and solve those questions as well. So make sure to watch this video. So make sure to watch this video till the very end, solve these questions and share your approach and solution in the comment section. You can solve these questions completely free on Code Studio platform by Coding Ninja. Link is given in the description. So this is the first question, reformat department table from the medium category. We have a department table ID revenue month. ID comma month is the primary key for this table. The table has information about the revenue of each department per month and these will be the month from Jan to December. Write a SQL query to reformat the table such that there is a department ID column and revenue column for each month. So initially we will be given the table like this ID and the revenue uh, for each month for each department and what we need to do we need to write a SQL query so that this format will be converted into this means we will be having the distinct department IDs and the columns for each month which will contain the total revenue for that particular department in that particular month so this is how we actually need to convert it so in the final table what we will have we will have the one column for id and 12 column for the months so let's try to solve it so the logic for this question would be simple case when statement along with the aggregation function like sum so let's try to solve it select what we need we need the id column and after that we will derive these things so sum case when month equals to Jan then we will pick this column revenue for summation else null and why we are get picking null not zero or something else because if you look at this data format so for any department let's say uh, which made some revenue in month Jan and then Feb March but not in let's say April May June so it should look like null not zero so that is why we are picking uh, null here and this condition what it does it only filters those record where month is equals to Jan and wherever it will see month is Jan it will pick the value revenue and will keep on summing it up and wherever it will see uh, that uh, it is not equals to Jan it will simply null and this will happen for all the department IDs and we will name it like this Jan revenue Jan revenue so this is the first and in total we will copy it for the 11 times second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth nine 10 11 and it will be Feb March April May June July August September October November and one more for December and same we will change it here Feb March April May June July August September October November and December and then we want it from table department depart group by id order by id let's execute it yep so we can see uh, and because of the ui constraint we will not be able to see the rest of the columns and these values right which are looking like blank it is null actually values populated as null 
so this is the solution but what i also feel that the way this primary key has been given means for each department id and month right it would be the primary key that would be only once in the table so it doesn't even make sense to have this summation part even we do not aggregate anything this should be completely fine without any summation so i hope it also makes sense to you as well because uh, if we see right the output which we have january 8000 and here feb revenue it's 7000 march revenue 6000 so in that case even this summation part is uh, not mandatory the grouping part but in case let's say these uh values were repeated let's say for jan month or for a department there can be multiple entries for jan then this summation actually makes sense and we should have it and we should also have the group by and order id so maybe we can consider it as a generic solution which will handle this use case as well and it will also handle the use case where these values are repeated else you can simply ignore this group by part and remove this summation uh, function on top of the case when statement still it will run absolutely fine and you will get the correct result so let's move on to the next question which is the query quality and percentage so this is the table named as query query name result position rating and the position column has a value from 1 to 500 and the rating column has a value from 1 to 5 query with rating less than 3 is a poor query we define query quality as the average of the ratio between query rating and its position so this is the position and this is the rating so this kind of numeric value uh, we need to generate so write an sql query to find each query name and the quality of the query and it should be calculated till two decimal places so if we look at the input table query name result position rating so query name was dog 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 here and the position the rating and the cat so for query name dog the quality is this and for this one quality is like this and uh, how it is calculated so for a dog query is quality is uh, we can see the rating divided by the position and then the average has been taken so that's what which has been said here the average of ratio between query rating and its position so here you can see 5 divided by 1 5 divided by 2 and 1 divided by 200 then the total summation has been taken divided by 3 which is a average calculation so this is what we need to calculate so let's try to do that so what we will do here uh, first uh, one value which will get calculated that will be rating divided by position and then we'll take a group by on the query name and we'll take a summation of this derived column we'll divide it by the total count for each group so first let's write it the nested part select star comma query ratio query ratio and here we will calculate it like the rating into 1 dot o to make it float and it should be divided by the position and it will be named as query ratio so this is has so this being derived from which table the table named is the queries so the queries table is like this and here at the end what we are going to do we are going to take the query name in the group by and we are going to derive this quality field which will be a average calculation so we can even use the inbuilt function like average uh, we do not even need to do this calculation manually like summing up all these ratios for a group and then divided by the total count we can simply use the uh, number uh, we can simply use the inbuilt function average so average of query ratio 
but we need to print it till two decimal places so we will use the round function as well and from this tmp table group by query name so let's execute it so this is what we can see and this was uh, expected as well so dog 2.50 and 0 0.66 so let's arrange it on the quality column order as quality and order by quality descending so this will be the final expected output so again pretty much simple question just the derivation related uh, step means uh, a good practice question for uh, anyone who is starting with these group by type of uh, things and want to understand how these calculation and aggregation functions can be applied so let's move on to the next question so this is the next question create a session bar chart so we have a sessions table and it has columns like session id and duration session id is the primary key duration is the time in seconds this will be in the seconds you want to know how long a user visits your application you decide to create bins means the bucket 0 5 5 10 10 15 and 15 minutes or more and count the number of sessions on it so this is the table we have been given and uh, session id this 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 and these values are actually in the seconds so for session id 1 2 3 have a duration greater or equal than 0 minutes and less than 5 minutes right so it is means these values which we will calculate so to solve this problem statement we will be using a very very basic trick means deriving all these bins and the respective total count and then taking a union of it so here you might be thinking why we can't even do it with the help of case when statement and then taking a group by and then taking a count of it because if we try to do that here for each bin we need to derive these values we need to calculate these values so with the help of case when statement it can be implemented but it will be little bit tricky to adjust this part but with the help of simple union and where clause this can be solved very very easily so what we will try to do we will calculate this total for each of the bin which is 0 to 5 minute and here values are in the seconds form so during the comparison or you can say the where clause we will use the parameter or the comparison values in the form of seconds as well to make it more easy so select the first bin is 0 to 5 and we will name it like as bin and count star as total from sessions table where duration between 0 and in 5 minutes we will be having in total 300 seconds so we need to take it less than that means it should be 2999 so means it should be 299 299 so this will be the first part and now similarly i will take it from here to the other union part this one and this union and the last union for the fourth bin so here it will be 5 to 10 and here it will be 10 to 15 and here we will name it like 15 or more or more so sessions duration and it will be 300 and in 10 minutes we will be having in total 600 seconds so it will be 599 and here it will be starting from the 600 second and in 15 we will be having 900 so it will become 8999 and here 
we will change this where clause and we will say that duration should be greater than or equals to 900 so now if we try to execute it so here we can see this was our expectation which we were supposed to get for 0 to 5 total 3 for 5 to 10 1 for 10 to 15 it is 0 and 15 or more it is 1 so this is how easily it can be solved with the help of where clause and the union statement uh, you do not need to think anything extraordinary uh, but you can definitely try it out with the help of case when statement and group by but if you feel that can become the complicated then it could be a very uh, straight and to the point solution for it so that is what i had for this sql video i hope you were also able to solve all these questions feel free to put your approach in the comment section for sure so like and share this video for better reach and also subscribe to the channel and press the notification icon and i will see you guys really soon with another part of this sql interview pro series till then just keep exploring data